Hello everyone, welcome you all in my YouTube channel. In this video, I will discuss about SC900 exam. SC900 exam is Microsoft Certified Security, Compliance and Identity Fundamentals exam in which the total timing is 120 minutes and total number of questions will be 104, passing score will be 700 and maximum marks for this will be 1000. Moving towards questions, this is the first question of SC900 exam. For each of the following statement, select yes if the statement is true, otherwise select no. The statements are first statement, all Azure Active Directory, bracket may Azure AD, license addition include same features. Second, you can manage Azure Active Directory TNET by using Azure Portal. Third, you must deploy Azure Virtual Machine to host an Azure AD TNET. And the solution of these questions or statements would be, these are the solutions. First statement, all Azure AD license additions include same feature. It should be no. Second, you can manage Azure Active Directory TNET by using Azure Portal, it should be yes. And third, you must deploy Azure Virtual Machine to host an Azure Active Directory TNET, it should be no. Moving towards next question, select the answer that correctly completes the sentence. So we have to select any one answer from this drop down, and we have to complete this sentence. And the statements or the answers would be Azure Blueprints, Azure Policy, Microsoft Cloud Adoption Framework for Azure, a resource log. Which of these options would be correct for the statement? Provide best practices from Microsoft employees, partners, and customers, including tools, guidance to assist in an Azure deployment. And correct option would be option number C, Microsoft Cloud Adoption Framework for Azure. Moving towards question number three. Select the answer that correctly completes the sentence. Customer log box, data loss prevention, e-discovery, a resource log is used to identify, hold, and export electronic information that might be used in an investigation. And correct option would be option number A, customer log box. Moving towards next question. Select the answer that correctly completes the sentence. You can manage Microsoft Intune by using Azure Active Directory Admin Center. Second, Microsoft 365 Compliance Center. Third, Microsoft 365 Defender Portal. And fourth, Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. And correct option would be option number D, Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. Moving towards next question. Federation is used to establish MFA, a trust relationship, user account synchronization, a VPN connection between the organization and correct option would be option number B, a trust relationship because the federation is a collection of domains that have established trust. Coming to the question number six, for each of the following statement, Select yes if the statement is true, otherwise select no. Applying system update increases an organization secure score in Azure Security Center. Second, the secure score in Azure Security Center can evaluate resources across multiple Azure subscription. Option C, enabling multi-factor authentication, MFA, increases an organization secure score in Azure Security Center. And the solutions for these statements would be applying system update increases an organization secure score in Azure Security Center. This statement is true. Second, secure score in Azure Security Center can evaluate resources across multiple Azure subscription. This statement is true. Enabling multi-factor authentication increases an organization's secure score in Azure Security Center. 
this statement is also true and the solutions for these for the first applying system update increases an organization secure score in azure security center and the reason for that system update reduce security vulnerabilities and provide a more stable environment for end users not applying update leaves untested vulnerabilities and results in environment that are susceptible to attack and the third statement enabling multi factor authentication increases an organization secure score in azure security center why this statement is true the reason is this if you only use a password to authenticate a user it leaves an attack vector open with mnfa enable your account are more secure going towards next question which score measure the organization's progress in completing action that help reduce risk associated to data protection and regulatory standards options are microsoft secure score option b productivity score option c secure score in azure security center option d compliance score and correct option would be option d compliance score moving towards next question what do you use to provide a real time integration between azure sentinel and another security source options are a azure ad connect option b a log analytics workspace option c azure information protection option d a connector and correct option would be option d a connector and reason for this is to onboard azure sentinel you first need to connect to your security sources your sentinel comes with a number of connectors for microsoft solution including microsoft 365 defender solution and microsoft 365 sources including office 365 azure ad microsoft defender for identity and microsoft cloud uh, security etc moving towards next question which microsoft portal provide information about how microsoft cloud services comply with regulatory standard such as international organization for standard that is iso options are option a microsoft endpoint manager admin center option b azure cost management plus billing option c microsoft service trust portal option d azure active directory admin center and correct option would be option c microsoft service trust portal and the reason for microsoft service trust portal would be the microsoft service trust portal contains details about microsoft implementation of control and processes that protect our cloud services and the customer data therein moving towards next question in the shared responsibility model for an azure deployment what is the microsoft solely responsible for managing option a management of mobile devices option b permission for user data stored in azure option c creation and management of user account option d management of physical hardware and correct option would be option d management of physical hardware 